Lifestyle. Very good morning to you, my dear viewer, and welcome to the Morning Digest, the show that comes to you every Thursday from the city of Nairobi, Elevate Kenya Studios, and we are grateful to God for giving us life. We thank God for a peaceful ruling, and the reaction of Kenyans is amazing. The, regardless of what side of the divide you belonged to, I want to borrow the words of someone who said, now politics is over, politicking is over. Let us, let, let's accept the rule of the law and move on as a country. And I think everyone right now has the responsibility to pray for our country, pray for peace, because for some reason, God has just enabled us as a nation to stand as an example of peace, you know, mm -hmm. in, a, in, in a continent where we are synonymous of many, many things. So let's be grateful to God. And, you know, in the show today, we have a guest and our topic of discussion today is mental transformation. I don't think of a better time to discuss this topic than today and than this season. Why? Because a lot has been going on through our minds and I'm sure if everybody was given an opportunity to say what's in their mind or to write a book, there, there probably would be no space, you know, to fit the books that would be written. And so today we have Minister Esther Wangeshi. And I think I will allow her to introduce herself from there on. Anything else you want to tell us about what you're comfortable with and why you smile so beautifully at the same time? Come to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anne. It's yeah. such a pleasure and honor to be here this morning. Right. I truly bless God and I'm also joining you in thanking God for what has happened in our nation. Mm -hmm. It's truly a blessing and Kenya is a, a nation that is loved of the Lord. My names are Esther Wangeshi, as you've said. I'm born again and I love the Lord. I'm a minister. I'm also a transformational coach. Yes. And uh, I'm a mother of, mm -hmm. two, uh, of two beautiful daughters. And uh, I also am also an ICT by profession. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. And uh, I do ministry uh, mostly for the youth and the, and the woman. And yeah. today I was just thinking how amazing this day is because I remember that the first time I did, uh, uh, when I started doing the youth ministry, it's five years ago. Wow. And this month marks the five years since Great. we started the youth ministry. Great. Yeah. So for wow. me, it's, it's such a milestone and yeah. I thank God. Thank God. Yeah. I mean, and, and of course, as you talk about your passion for youth, young people, you're also passionate about women, but our discussion today centers more on the young people. Yeah. So could you tell us why particularly the youth, why are you interested in the young people before we talk about mental transformation as it relates to the political season that we are in? Um, why the youth? One is, uh, one is they carry the strength mm -hmm. of every, every generation. Yeah. And uh, for me, my passion is based on my life history. Mm -hmm. uh, I started first with the woman ministry. And then after a year later, God told me, go and do the youth. And mm -hmm. I was not understanding why the youth. Yeah. Until one time I was crossing on the street and uh, it was whispered to me. Mm -hmm. It is because at your youth, was when you messed. All right. It was when you made mistakes mm -hmm. that made you go through a, a period of trial and a period of testing. Right. And uh, I realized that uh, when you don't get it right as a youth, yeah. it is very difficult to make it right as, yeah. a, as, as you mature on. That's true. And uh, also I realized that uh, some of the challenges that we go through when we've grown up mm -hmm. are things that would have been dealt with That's right. if they were well picked mm -hmm. at our youth. Yeah. And so for me, my passion is I would never want a youth to go through what I went through. Okay. I'm grateful to God because one thing is he turns our messes to message. Wow. And the reason why he did that for me is that I can go to a youth who is in a mess now mm -hmm. or not yet even gotten to any mess mm -hmm. and we work it out yeah. that there is no mess, yeah. we just have a message or through wow. and it saves a lot of pain a lot of time mm -hmm. you know you don't have to go through a lot of wilderness mm -hmm. when you have somebody to walk with you yeah. 
And uh, my passion has been, if I didn't have somebody to work with me, can I be someone to work with that youth? That's right. And that is why I am uh, passionate about the youth. I'm also in the university mm -hmm. uh, because I work for, for JQuad. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can imagine I interact with them almost every day. Yeah. I see their challenges. And sometimes when they come, you're able to pick this one needs help. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I like what you're saying. And as you are speaking, yeah. you're also speaking to me. But it's interesting how the, the reverse is true for me. Yeah. I always say God helped me to avoid many mistakes and I say God yes because if I know if it was not for the grace of God yeah I would also make mistakes and yeah. I'm not saying those that made those mistakes God was not with them yeah there's something that uh, someone uh, I love very much likes to say sometimes God allows some things yes. to happen yes. and later you're like God why me and then yeah. someone else asked who else did you expect? Oh, Who did you want to yes, be in those shoes? Yes. So because you're like, God, why me? Yeah. And in the reverse, you're asking, then can it be someone else and not me? Yeah. But to, to bring you back, uh, I remember for me, it was the other way around in this sense. Mm. God helped me. And so I'm usually dealing with youth more proactively. Mm -hmm. Like, do not go down this road. Yes. Because God helped me, it yes. is possible. Yes. So I will not buy the line of, I can't, I'm a young person. Yeah. If God helped me and I made it, mm. then you can make it. Yeah. Now in your case, it's because for some reason that happened and yeah. then now you're here on a journey to help many young people yes. transform. Yes. Wow, what a testimony. Mm. So uh, why is it important, first of all, to have a positive mindset? Because as, as we're talking about uh, mental transformation, yeah. it means this mindset is at a point where it's not healthy. Yes. So you can choose to go first the unhealthy one, mm. and then we go to the healthy one. Yes. Yes. Uh, the importance of having positive mindset. Mm -hmm. We know by the word mm -hmm. that as a man thinketh, in his heart. In his heart. Mm. So is he. Mm. And you can never be a product of anything else That's other true. than your thoughts. That's true. So if you are thinking uh, negatively, then by looking at somebody, you will be able to tell what is in their thoughts yeah. because of what, one, their character That's and what right. they are doing. Mm. Because out of our minds, we start thinking. Yeah we start talking then mm -hmm. from our thoughts we start speaking we confess mm -hmm. and as we are confessing we begin to walk walk the words that we are yeah. we are speaking yeah. and then eventually it becomes a character mm -hmm. which becomes our destiny mm -hmm. and uh, for me is uh, my passion is i look at the destiny mm -hmm. and i know that everybody is meant to have greatness in them mm -hmm. And by seeing how, what somebody is thinking or what they are saying, I can tell, are we going the right way or are we getting lost? Okay. So it is good to be positive, to think positively about yourself, about your environment, mm. about even what it is that you're doing. Mm. Because eventually there will be a success destination. Mm -hmm. But if you're, what is the, uh, the, the, on the other side of the divide, negative thoughts destroy someone's destiny all right because as we said as you think so are you mm -hmm. if you don't believe in yourself if the only thing you see yourself is ugly uh not good can anything good come out of me yeah definitely it will equals to nothing good coming out of you That's so true. it is very important to check our thoughts mm -hmm. because our minds are like a garden yeah what are you planting mm -hmm. and what have you planted mm -hmm. And what have you allowed your environment to plant? Wow. I think that's powerful. Even yeah. before you proceed, yes. our minds are like a garden. And every, if, you have, if one has a garden, it need to be, uh, to, you need to tend to the garden. Exactly. Whether it's a flower garden, spinach yeah. garden. Yes. And so when you neglect it, weeds come up. So how do we tend this garden? Now our minds, because you've made an analogy that has made me think of now uh, breaking that into two. How do we turn this garden? Uh, the garden, you, you will always, because we are in an environment where good and bad are coming in. Oh, yeah. We are in the social media, good and bad are coming in. Mm -hmm. But this is your garden. Yeah. You have a right to decide what grows yeah. and what doesn't grow. Mm -hmm. And we are told that that which is good. That which is noble, that yeah. which is praiseworthy, that is what should grow. Think of such. Think mm -hmm. of such things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so in this garden, every day, even by the time I was coming here, mm -hmm. there were things that were not good that I was seeing. 
and I, if I allowed them to grow in my garden, by the time I was getting here, maybe I would have been, you know, negative and yeah, have a negative yeah. mindset. True. But you choose what to grow in your yeah, mind. Yeah. Actually, you have the power yeah. within you yeah. to allow what you want to grow, whether you want weed, mm -hmm. weed beings are uh, being negative, mm -hmm. uh, negative thoughts, mm -hmm. um, you know, negative attitude. Yeah. You have... Uh, the right to make uh, positive thoughts to grow, mm -hmm. that things are which are good, which are noble, which are praiseworthy, mm -hmm. you know, things that will build you up. Mm. The choice comes to ourselves. Yeah. This is your garden. Yeah. And are you tending to eat? Okay. What are you feeding your garden? Okay. Are you watering your garden? Mm -hmm. Are you pruning your garden? Yeah. And this garden we are referring to is the garden of your mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So um, I'm thinking, even as you were talking, we, are, we live in a society where it's, it's easier to say, to, to speak in a defeatist way. Yeah. Whereby people say, hey, cook me mesota. I don't know, I'm broke, mm. <laughs> sorry. Mm. I'm broke or, uh, hey, ni, okay, niku hustle, not, not the political one, mm. but really you're saying I'm struggling, nangangana, yeah. mm. uh, I'm struggling. Mm. Why is it easier for people to be more defeatist, I including believers yeah. who read the word, yeah. assume, we're assuming yeah. they read the word, mm. we're assuming because, again, this is a discipline that one has to cultivate. Yeah. Why is it possible uh, I mean, why is it easier for people to speak in a defeatist way than to say, I'm more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ. It is the, our, how we've been wired mm -hmm. in growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, if your environment growing up, and I know you being uh, uh, in, uh, among the students, you've mm -hmm. been able to see, you can tell who've been wired up positively yeah. from their young from the foundation yeah and uh, it is easier for us to confess negatively yeah. because we grew up with our parents telling us there's no money you think Once money one, yeah you think money there was in, never in, money in, yeah there was never money <laughs> money high toki trees you know such things eh? yeah and so it is so easier to say what we've grown up saying yeah. and hearing yeah. because if you keep hearing uh, a negative thing it becomes the norm yeah there's no food so you will say there's no food yeah even when there is this food yeah it is very difficult for somebody to say there is because of the way they've been mm -hmm. wired up mm -hmm. and it bring it brings me to the 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 kind of a mindset that is mm -hmm. we have a scarcity mindset a, a um a poverty mindset yeah because as as we are seeing we grew up being told it is not there mm -hmm. even when there is peace uh, it is easier to say there is no peace. Imagine. Because also, what are we seeing? Mm. And what are we comparing ourselves with? Mm. So our growing up mm -hmm. uh, really dictates and determines our confession. Okay. And that's why as, as believers, you've said something. It is a work in progress. Yeah, yeah. It is a work in progress. Mm -hmm. We have to keep confessing it, mm -hmm. saying it yeah. until it becomes wired in us. Wow. You know the way the, they do the wiring in a building, yes. testing whether the electricity is, come, working. is working or not. W the moment you switch to the other kingdom of a believer, mm -hmm. there are so many things that you have to start being pruned on. Yeah. And one of them, it is our mindset yeah. because until that changes yeah. then we, we are not going to fulfill our destiny yeah yeah because even we are told serve the lord your god mm. with all your mind mm. with all your soul mm. and with everything that you've got wow so if there is no alignment of that yeah. not even your body yeah it is more your mind and your soul mm. your soul being your mind your mm. willpower and your emotions mm -hmm. if those three are not in aligned then, then there's a problem there's a problem and wow. a major one now, I'm just thinking, uh, whatever you're saying seems to be propelling me to something else, which is very good, yeah. because it makes the discussion lively. Yeah. Uh, uh, the word of God. Mm -hmm. I remember the Psalms 119, I believe, verse 9, yeah. that says, how can a young man keep his way pure mm -hmm. but by guarding it according to the word of God? Yes. So the word of God is an automatic recipe mm -hmm. of living a sinless life, yes. not by our own strength, of course, yeah. but the word of God is like an anchor. Mm. But it's not by osmosis, whereby people no. would say, if you don't want to dream bad dreams, yeah. put the Bible under your pillow. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. Filling our hearts with the word of God. Mm. I 
I've come to notice mm. a young man who reads the word mm -hmm. or a young woman who reads the word yeah. and a young girl and boy who reads the word mm -hmm. who doesn't read the word their yeah. faith level is very yeah. different yeah. but towards the end we will be talking about the perspective what is the biblical perspective okay. of mental transformation yeah. so uh, what, what are some of the things that cause people to have a negative mindset other than the environment within which they grew up? Because there are people that grew up in very healthy environments, but mm. for some reason they mm. just wandered away into negativity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's talk of relationships. Mm -hmm. One of the things with young people is uh, we've had major issues with the peer pressure because we are told, do not be deceived. Bad company corrupt good morals. Yeah. And these morals is not just a walk. That's it has right. to start with the mentor. Yeah. So show me your friends, and I'll tell you the kind of a person that you're going to become. And I keep saying this, that if you are a good apple, mm -hmm. and you throw it among the rotten apples, mm. it is just a matter of days. Yeah. The good one will begin to rot oh, yeah. as well. True. So. Our thoughts, uh, besides the environment, mm -hmm. our relationships really matter a lot. Our relationships. They matter a lot. Because what are your friends telling you? What are they speaking to you? Mm -hmm. Are they calling you out? Because you can be um, a bad one. You find yourself with people that are calling you out. Eventually, you begin to wonder, ah, oh, that Esther, Esther keeps calling me blessed. Esther keeps calling me, telling me that I'm beautiful, mm -hmm. that, that there's greatness in me. And you begin to search out yeah. what this other person is saying. Yeah. You see? Yeah. But if you have, if your work, if your company is a company that is not up to building each other, actually your ways are of destruction. Yeah. Drinking, smoking, uh, sex, and all that. Really, there's no good that can come out of there. Yeah. It is yeah. destruction after destruction. Mm -hmm. So our relationships really also determine our thoughts. That's right. And let me also say, our, our culture, what we read, what we listen. Mm -hmm. As you're looking, uh, what images are mm -hmm. you impacting on your mind? Yeah. As you're listening, because what you're hearing, even we know that faith comes by hearing, the same way fear will come based yeah. on what you're fearing, mm -hmm. and that fear will lead you to make wrong decisions. Right. And so uh, what we are reading, what we are hearing, and also our relationship, among us other. But for now, I'll just mention those ones. Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So what about Lone Rangers? Uh -huh. You know, there are people that they are on their own. Many times they don't have company. Yeah. And many times they'll say, I'm good by myself. They mm -hmm. do not miss being in a crowd. They love their quietness, even though sometimes it can be a bit on the extreme. But I'm not talking of someone that has a mental issue. Yeah. But there are people clearly, you cannot mm -hmm. tell, mm -hmm. who is the friend of this person? Yeah. What about those people? For example, because I know there are some actually, yeah. that Mpaka, you are like, do you have a friend? Who is your friend? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How would you deal with that group when it comes to mental health? Uh, for one, is mm. I would want to understand why are you wired like that? Yeah. Because many a times, mm -hmm. it's because of also, mm -hmm. we will not rule out our yeah. bringing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We are not going to rule that out. One, Be, what, what are they called? Mm. Um, an only child sometimes, for yes. example. Yes, mm -hmm. they become very, it's hard for them mm -hmm. to mingle with others. Yes. There are others who are very social. And that is why we are even having the socialites, yeah. you know. And uh, our youth are really bought out by that thing of being in the social, the flashy life and mm. all that, mm. which, which is a topic for another day. So, but you find that it is important to understand the genesis of why are you the way you are. Right. Could it be that you were betrayed in a relationship yeah. or in a, you know, not only opposite, but yeah. even in interacting with people and you're like, I trust nobody. And so I wouldn't want to be in any company. Others are good or by themselves, yeah. which I would not really advocate because mm. we are social beings. Yes. We are meant to relate. Yeah. You carry something that I don't have. That's and right. so as we talk, I'll learn something from you. Mm. But when I stay as a loner, that limits also my, my growth mm. because I'm only exposed to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And of course, like you've said, the human beings are social beings. Yes. And uh, many times if you find someone lonely and quiet, if you are not a quiet person, you'll want to know why do you keep why? to yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Because you want to reach out to them. Yes. Maybe it's also a problem because a study was done and they said that uh, 
I don't know what percentage, but there's a percentage of people, mm -hmm. and especially in the U.S. where mm -hmm. everybody minds their business more than here. Yeah. Here we tend to mind people's business yes. <laughs> more than on the other side. Yes. Loneliness kills a lot yeah. on the other side. Yeah. Here you will get out, talk to Mama Mboga. Mm. Hi, how was your day? Yeah. There, I'm not saying people are antisocial, mm. but you have, if you're exposed enough, you know what I'm saying. Yes. People die of loneliness. Yes. But now let's talk about a mental transformation in the era of politics. Mm -hmm. we, we've seen a big uh, shift, if mm -hmm. we can call it that, yeah. in one way. But yeah. then there's another shift. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of apathy among young people mm -hmm. when it came to voting, mm -hmm. and you just needed to ask a few randomly yeah. will you vote they're mm. like i i don't even i don't even think about it i don't yeah. care yeah. so what's your take on this because maybe for future mm -hmm. it's really important for there to be a mental shift when it comes to the voting among the youth yeah uh, i think what i would say is uh, the reason why they they were like the way they were is one um would i say that promises that have been broken Mm -hmm. a lot a lot of promises have been made to the youth mm -hmm. and uh, we are our youth the generation that we have today mm -hmm. is uh, they are instant you know yeah. they are solution oriented yeah promises are not working for them All right. so if you come up and you're making promises for them like it has been before that hasn't worked. Okay. What difference are you going to bring in on mm -hmm. the table? Mm -hmm. And then they've been expound to, you know, we are in a global setup such that through your phone, mm -hmm. you're able to see what is happening in another place. place. Yeah. They are well informed. So as you're giving me your, your, your strategy and your policies that are in place, mm -hmm. if I look at what the other person has done, it is more or less the same. Yeah. So there's nothing new that you're bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. And so our... Um, our youth were like, okay, nothing new, so we better not just vote. Yeah. Uh, but what else would I attribute to that? How informed are they mm -hmm. that on the matters governance mm -hmm. that you also have a choice? Yeah. You know, the politicians went to them mm -hmm. the last minute because they want the vote. Mm. But they, there's need for governance and the education of politics to be taken to our schools, mm -hmm. which I felt as much as, uh, you know, we, we talk about it, there are those who are doing political science. Yeah. But what of those who are not in education and they are young people? Uh -huh. They need to be educated about the importance importance of taking charge mm. of governance okay. and being informed. Okay. Uh, so for me, I would say one, it is broken promises. Mm -hmm. And they are not after promises. They want solutions. They want solutions. We don't have jobs. Yeah. yeah. They are the greatest, uh, the, the largest number of manpower that we have in the society. Yeah. But they are not working. Yeah. They are yeah. doing it for themselves. They, they are making their ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've seen even graduates who don't have jobs standing on the streets with placards. Yeah. I am an undergraduate, first class. And MSc. I'm, I MSc. don't know what, biochemistry. Yeah. Very tough courses that uh, I wouldn't dare. You exactly. Know, and they are standing on the streets. I saw one on Huru Highway some time back eh? mm. and it was a lady. And I was like, okay. So anyone who is going to seek for a vote for a youth, yeah. you yeah. know, and they bring you your, their papers. Yeah. What do you have to offer for me? Exactly. Really, you can't tell me that you're going to put this and this in place. What new mm -hmm. are you bringing on yeah, the table? Yeah. So that really uh, affected them, considering also they are informed as much as they are not in class. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then again, someone said, mm -hmm. don't tell me you're going to bring me roads, water, electricity. That is the mandate of any given government yeah. in any country mm -hmm. to give the basic services for its citizens. Yes. So after the roads, the water, the education, good mm -hmm. schools, mm -hmm. which you ought to give as a government, yeah. what else are you bringing on the table? Yes. So what would you say, uh, especially regarding uh, what I would call maybe a sense of disappointment, mm -hmm. Not written anywhere, but uh, they say it's not news mm. if it doesn't bleed. Yes. So it ought to bleed so that it, be, it leads. Yes. If it bleeds, it leads. Yeah. So if there's nothing uh, messy, there's no news. Yeah. So I guess in Kenya, mm. probably somebody was waiting for it to get messy yeah. so that we have news. Yes. And maybe someone was waiting for particular 
parts of this country mm. to break out so mm. that we can have news. Mm. But apparently, thank God, yeah. uh, that did not happen and yeah. it will not happen in yeah. Jesus' name. Amen. Because people also prayed. Mm. And also we can say we are still praying yeah. that God continues to uphold us as a country. Yeah. So what do you think happened that in the past, because I've never seen a 60-year-old throwing a stone mm. or a 70-year-old running with a panga to yeah. kill another. Yeah. It's that bracket you've talked about. Yeah. But for some reason, mm. this time it, it was hands off. We mm. are not stoning anyone. Mm -hmm. We are not holding pangas. Mm. What happened? Mm. Now you could speak as a minister. Mm. You could speak as a coach. You could yeah. speak as a Kenyan. Yeah. You decide. Uh, well, let me say the level of knowledge. Mm -hmm. We've known that bad news sells, yes. you know, and mm -hmm. uh, it is known that the only thing the media will give out that will sell is bad news. Yes. But our people, our youth realize we are the ones being sent to the streets yeah. to throw stones, yeah. to destroy businesses. Right. Yet tomorrow, after this destruction is over, these people go back to their offices, to their homes, and as we go back to our usual life Actually, before luck, home, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I hope you'll not forget your thought. Yeah. They go to take tea and coffee. Ah, uh, together. Where we are not seeing them. Yes. Please continue. <laughs> so our, mm. our young people mm. are now aware. Mm. There's that level of awareness. Yeah. That after we've brought in all this destructive, we've destroyed ourselves. Mm -hmm. These people meet thereafter and have a cup of tea. Yeah. They celebrate, they cheers. Yeah. And as we are going back, some even lose their lives, but these people don't lose their lives. And also their children are doing very well. Yeah. If you didn't have a business, if you didn't have food, you will still go back to your empty house yeah. and stay hungry. Yeah. So I would say, and this for me, it is a plus for our youth. And really, it is a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. They oh, yeah. didn't do that. Yeah. They did not do that. And right. we've seen in the past, university students are the ones who would be brought out mm -hmm. to throw stones. These are enlightened people. And um, one is the level of awareness. Two, they were involved even also in prayer. Yeah. Everybody was involved, even yeah. whether born again or not born yeah. again. Yeah. They were like, we want a peaceful transition. That's right. We want to settle. Actually, it got to a point, and you know, sometimes you can feel the energy. Yeah. Is that people are tired. They want to settle. They want to go back to their usual <laughs> life. You're so right. Yeah. A young it's person true. want to go to their online business yeah. to sell their shoes. Mm. You know, this thing, please not finish it, it quickly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you're on your feet running for your dear life. You won't do it. Wow. You won't do it. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, uh, I want to acknowledge a few people here mm. that are watching. Today we are talking about mental transformation. Mm. And regardless of your age, you definitely need a mental transformation. And this comes through the word of God. Stephen mm. says our generation is blessed. Uh, transformation is what we must embrace. Mm. Gladwell Wanjiko watching from Kitui County. May God bless you. And also David says... Positive energy is more powerful than negative energy. What you hear repeatedly, you tend to believe. Mm. And you, you need to say it until it becomes uh, based on some of the sentiments that yeah. you've shared. Yeah. I mean, what you keep saying. And the people that speak positively, mm. for some reason, their lives just uh, turn out positive. It's true. You know? Yeah. And uh, before we go on break, could you tell us, mm. uh, sometimes there has been this feeling of, yeah, yeah, we've had that over again. Mm. Say mm. it until it becomes reality. Yeah. Mm. Or fake it until it becomes real. Mm. And some people downplay it and say, mm. it never really works. So mm. what would you say shortly before we go on break? I would say that, uh, you see, when you're saying it, you're hearing it. Yes. We are told to faith it. Yes, faith it. Wow. Faith I it like that. Until you make it. Faith it until you make it. It is not That's just, uh, it is not a cliche. Yes. And let me say one thing that has been my slogan. I mm -hmm. think, therefore I am. I think, therefore I am. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you faith it, you are calling those things that are not. I am That's seeing the Esther that I want. I'm seeing myself. And mm. so I call that Esther mm. before that Esther comes. Mm. So I faith it. And mm. eventually I will see it happen. Mm. Because you cannot be what you have not seen. Yeah. And you cannot see it if you don't keep saying it. Wow. You see, because faith is confession. Faith, faith is confession. Say it, calling those things be not as though they are. Yeah. Yeah. You see, you call what you want to see. Yeah. And another thing is, and I keep saying it, fear is also calling it. It will manifest. Mm. Faith is your calling positive to mm. manifest. Mm. If you call out of fear, 
it will be a manifestation of what you don't want to see. Okay. And that's why they say false evidence appearing real. real. And it is evidence because you've been calling it. Yeah. We are not told to call fear for things. Mm -hmm. We are told to faith it, to not faith fake it. it. Wow. It is faith, faith it. it. Faith it. Yes. We have to go on break. Faith it yeah. until you make it. So it's not about faking. Yeah. Now we leave that out for now yes. and say you faith it. Speak it yeah. until it becomes. I mean, and of course the word of God supports it whereby uh, the, the word of God says, uh, Whatever a man, whatever a, as a man thinketh, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So let us change our mind. Let's feed our mind, not just with motivational books and things like that. That's important, but with the word of God. Today we have Esther Wangeshi on the show, and we'll be right back after the break to continue with the discussion on mental transformation. Knowledge is power. Information is liberating. Education is not just preparation for life. Education is life in itself. Great education does not only deliver creative thinkers, problem solvers and innovative minds, but also individuals who are physically, emotionally and spiritually sound. Gospel Light College offers holistic education and much more. This course has shaped us, from, uh, I for once as a pastor, I'm now well prepared, able to present the gospel in the right way. A degree with so much depth. I'm so blessed and uh, I am actually looking forward to doing the masters. I want to welcome all of you, those who would like to join GLC, and also those who would like, would like to progress for, the, for our master's program. The time is now. Search no more. We offer higher diploma, bachelor's and a master's degree in biblical studies and community development. We also offer Greek classes. The September 2022 intake is ongoing. Book your slot today by calling 0748 00 Gospel Light College, a Christ-like worker for a Christ-like church. Welcome to the Morning Digest. Uh, we've just been discussing about mental transformation with our beautiful guest, Esther Wangeshi, who is a minister and a coach. And really, I mean, if you're watching, share the link. You can also like and also tell a friend to tune in. And so as we continue with this discussion, Esther, could you please tell us about uh, the aspect of heightened expectations among youth? Right now, the choices had to be made yeah. based on the... Uh, promises that we were given. Yes. And I was also following very closely and mm -hmm. as I was looking at the list, mm -hmm. I also had mine as a Kenyan and yeah. I was like, no, this one is missing, mm -hmm. but if I ever get an opportunity, mm -hmm. I would present it at a forum one day. Yeah. But now for the young people, because mm -hmm. uh, we, are, we are probably not in that bracket, mm -hmm. they also had their promises. Yeah. And based on that, some mm -hmm. leaned more on one side yeah. and not on the other side. Yeah. So how does that affect their mind mm -hmm. uh, that with time, mm -hmm. they, are, they are looking and looking and they're going to be saying, are mm -hmm. our expectations, expectations going to be met? Are the yeah. promises going to be fulfilled? Yeah. So what would you say about that? Um, what I, w I would really say is that, and this I would encourage our young people, mm -hmm. promises have been made, they've been broken. Yeah. Expectations, you have your expectations, but at the end of it all is that uh, don't put your 100% in the promises that have been made. That's right. Because in the past, we've seen promises that have been broken. Mm -hmm. And especially because it is a man who is making the promises. Mm -hmm. And he's also going into a new place. That's right. He's mm -hmm. going to find it not the way he expected. Yeah. So even our leaders also, mm -hmm. their expectations when they get into the office, mm -hmm. they made promises, yes. And they are, they are well-meaning. Yeah. I don't want to say that they, they don't mean it. They mean well. 
But remember, it is a clean house. They've entered into a house where they have to start putting their structures in place. Mm -hmm. That will take time. Yeah. And our young people are waiting. Yeah. One month down the line, you promised. Mm. One year down the line, you promised. promised. And we are not seeing it happen. Yeah. And so that is likely uh, to really uh, kill somebody's motivation morale. and yeah. morale. Mm. Even we are told scripturally, hope deferred makes yeah. them the heart sick. Yeah. But what would I say is that our leaders, I would say they are well-meaning. But the situation they find mm. is totally different. Mm. So be prepared. Have a cushion. Yeah. You know, and uh, one thing I always say is have sh build shock absorbers yeah. because you need them in life. Mm -hmm. The only person that uh, is uh, that is of integrity, they mm -hmm. say and they keep it, is mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. And because he has a track record yeah. of saying it and fulfilling <laughs> it. I like that. Yeah. Oh, God has a track record yeah. of saying it and wow. fulfilling it. If, mm -hmm. I have made promises to my my children yeah. and I failed to fulfill them. True, and I'm true. well meaning as their mom. Yeah, yeah. So the same case is with our young people is that have shock absorbers. Mm. As this if this doesn't work, what mm. do I have to lean on? Yeah. You know? And and let me add this is that every young person they have gifts, they have talents, talents. and they have abilities. Yes. Before you can look at what somebody else can do, mm -hmm. ask yourself, what can I do? Right. Yes. Wow. Yeah. God is not a man that he should lie. No. Neither the son of a man that he should, should repent. repent. Yeah. His word says, has, have I not said, has he mm. not said it, will and will he not, not do, do it? it? That's a powerful statement yeah. you've made. Yeah. That God has a record yes. of making sure what he says comes to pass yes i mean you can take his word to the bank it's only him yeah it's only that sometimes it's not a visible check yes but actually god's word is as good as a check yeah that is waiting to be cashed mm. and that's a powerful statement that needs to liberate anyone out there that's watching yeah so you've actually answered the question on blame game mm. where the young people sometimes feel shortchanged mm. but you've said they have gifts and talents exactly. so how can we rise from the blame mm -hmm. game mm -hmm. to be practical in life mm -hmm. can you think of one example where we can help young people because many sit back and be like oh mm. there are no jobs you know blah 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 mm. day in day out yeah. but nobody will come from the white house mm. or the state house and pull you mm -hmm. by force and tell you kuja kazini yes yeah you could struggle and somehow yeah. one day find yourself there mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. what would you say the blame game is a lot other than now the hate uh, hate and expectations you see uh excuses mm -hmm bring about failure yeah if you want to fail then live on excuses yeah and one of the things that really challenges me is this guy called nick no legs no hands grew like that and he's one of the sought after he's speaker. been to over 44 countries yes speaker in yes. the world oh and my. for me and i would say i wasn't like this but it is when you sit down and you look at the scripture and you know you will be accountable for every day you have lived on this world. You will be accountable. You have legs, you have hands, you have ears, you have a brain. And you'll account what did you do with what I gave you. Yes. Money, we, uh, money, the issue is we have put money as the forefront mm -hmm, mm -hmm. other than what is in us. Yeah. The, what is in us is what should bring money. That's right. I can say monetizing your yeah. potential. Monetizing your potential. Yes. And potential is not outside. That, it is right. inside. Yeah, yeah. And it starts by knowing what is my potential. Wow. And we have a, a, a generation, our youth are very gifted. Mm -hmm. Very gifted. Mm -hmm. They don't need to even be in a class. By the way. They don't. With mm. their phones, they are mm. making millions. They are, yeah. they are making a lot of money. Yeah. But we have this, uh, you know, the scarcity mindset again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that want to, to be led, yeah. that want to be uh, done for things. The pap. The, the instant coffee, the instant coffee and everything mm -hmm. that we don't want to cook we don't mm. want to struggle to do these things mm. but i go uh, to a point of something that i've been thinking about even what is happening to our nation right now yeah it is the the issue of transitioning mm -hmm. from the moses era yeah. to the joshua generation mm -hmm. the joshua they do it yeah they are not waiting for things to be done. Mm -hmm. Moses could do for them. Mm -hmm. Manna was falling. But remember, when they crossed over and they ate what was on the land, manna ceased, meaning they had now to work for it. Wow. 
that's a deep revelation. Yeah. So are you bringing it closer home in, in Kenya to say there's a generation that uh, knew how to work, there's another one that it, had learned to receive a lot? I hope it, I didn't get you wrong. How would you bring it closer home in terms of in our situation? The generation we have now, Anne, mm -hmm. it is you have to do it. Yes. It is not going to be brought for you. That's right. You have to go out, you have to go and work. Do you have hands? Do you have legs? And leave the money that you have. Forget mm. about the money that you have. Mm. What is it do you have? Are you in health? Yeah. Can you go out? Man, your mouth is even enough to make money. That's true. That's true. Yes. You can go tell somebody, and give me 5,000. Yeah. I want to go buy some clothes and start selling through your mouth. Yeah. We need to have a mental shift. Yeah. It is not things have to be done for us. Mm -hmm. Even in employment, what can you do? Can you start thinking of being an employer? That's right. You see? And, and the people who made the greatest change and impact in a generation, mm. they didn't do it at 50. No. It is at the age bracket 20, 35 there. Mm, mm. The, the, but there are exceptions, of course. Yes, there are exceptions, <laughs> of course. The Facebook person didn't go even to a class. Uh, you know, no graduate, no degree. Mm. You see, we need to... Education is very important, <laughs> and I thank God that, that we have it. That was going to be my next question to you. Yes. Because there's, there's been a discussion. Mm -hmm. I've seen so much, and I would almost refer it to a slap in the face for mm -hmm. the academics. Yeah. When every discussion about you making it in life mm -hmm. has to always have this statement that, oh, so-and-so has succeeded, but they have no degree. Mm -hmm. Now, it almost gives people a negative mindset mm -hmm. about so it's uh, life is not all about having a degree but so well, what's your point on that first of all let me take it to the government yes we've seen the government being set up yeah. is where your papers yes that alone should tell you that in our country we value education yeah and education is very important mm -hmm. you if you sat five people mm -hmm. two who've gone to school and three who've not gone to school. Mm -hmm. Even the conversation, the, relation, the way they are relating with the others, yes. it's very different. Very. So besides the, 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 what you learn to get a job, mm -hmm. it is we learn how to relate with people. Okay. Actually, we go to school. N don't go to school to, with a mind that you'll make money. But mm -hmm. the first, number one skill is how you relate with people. Yeah. And out of your relationship is where money will come from. That's right. Education is very key. We must have a president who is a graduate. Yes. We saw Sakanja being terrorized because <laughs> of papers. You know? Papers are key. And it, it is. They're and actually, key. it's amazing because there's a statement I picked from media mm -hmm. a few days ago where yeah. they said... Uh, uh, in Kenya, uh, we, are ha we are having a first president that has a PhD, meaning, wow. I mean, education matters at the end of the day. Yes. But there's an addition to it. Mm. Even those that do not have degrees mm. have put tens of thousands of hours yeah. in practice, yeah. Yeah. in yeah. trying to learn mm. and mm. master the skill that mm. they are sharing mm. out there with the world. Yeah. So that even if, let's say, there's a gap mm. and an, and an employer, employee who is more educated than you yeah. comes to you, yeah. you're so handsome yeah. that you may not have the yeah. paper, yeah. but you know what you're doing. Yeah. So I think that's an addition out there. Yes. So uh, I don't know. So what's your conclusion about the matter on matters of that statement? Where today people are like, yeah, Tabila degree, you can still make it. It's almost like it's bad to have a degree mm. and no money. Uh, can we talk of theory and practicality? Yes. Because we've seen it that uh, we've had students coming out they have the theory aspect yeah they don't have the practical the practical part true, true. and so what need to come up is to bring these two together mm -hmm. as much as we are empowering these students yeah. in in school theoretically yeah. can we help them put it in uh, practicality yeah. and i would say that's a plus for the cbc that's right and which need to be brought up in our campuses yeah because those are the leaders that's where our youth are okay. they don't need just the theory part mm -hmm. they need the practical part of it the theory is very good yeah but now when you go to our, our, our work setup these students can only speak yeah but they cannot do Oh, yeah. It becomes a challenge. That's a true. student is so good in programming, mm -hmm. but they cannot program. Yeah. They know everything about the languages, mm -hmm. but they cannot do it practically. Yeah. It, it becomes a challenge. It becomes a challenge. Yeah. And of course, the CV l looks more beautiful than the honor. 
Exactly. The, the CV, the owner does not represent the C exactly. CV or vice versa, whichever. You're almost anyway. asking, are, is, are these the same? Is, are, this is the, it one and the same yeah, person? Yeah. So allow me to appreciate. Christine Musa, thank you. You're saying excuses are the crutches of the uncommitted. Wow. Yeah. By Randy Morrison. Mm. Uh, that's a quote by Randy Morrison. Mm. And uh, Stella Whaler is also watching. Thank you all for watching. Keep sending your comments. Uh, this is a very healthy discussion, honestly, and it will help us not to stick in one place mm. and not to be negative and look at how we can move on, mm. even in a world where there's so much negativity. So what are some of the maybe top three mistakes? They don't have to be three. Mm. You can pick one or two that yeah. young people make, and especially uh, once they make those mistakes, they are stuck there and they think, mm. this is it, I'm doomed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, comparing yourself mm -hmm. with, with others. Yeah. Uh, we've seen the social media yeah. and I would say it's number one contributor to the depression among the youth wow. because if you see me posting a photo and you know and maybe I've used a uh, um, snapshot with all nice makeup and yeah, everything yeah. Uh, you think that I'm, I'm using the expensive mm -hmm. you know makeup and everything yeah. I have a designer you see what mm -hmm. do you do if you cannot afford I guess I keep pushing you, if um, I'm at that bracket. The next minute is our young people will go in, slip into a mode of why can't I, mm -hmm. you know, live like that. Mm. So one of the things that is affecting us is comparison. Mm. You want to be like so and so. Yeah. And really, that is not the reality on the <laughs> ground. And uh, let me say this, mm. this kind Mambo of... A di ground. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mambo Kwa site is mm. different. Mm -hmm. There is a deception. Yes. kind of yeah. that is coming up through mm -hmm. the the you know our social media our interactions you know even when students go to university they are very different yeah. if you were to follow them kwa manyumba zao you would be so surprised it is different so comparison is one of them and also the the uh, the peer pressure the you peer pressure. yeah peer pressure is is number one also so if I could ask, uh, I'm standing in the shoe of a young person right yeah. now, and I'm asking, why is it that most young people succumb to pressure? Mm -hmm. It's not like you'll die. Mm -hmm. It's not like you will be sued mm -hmm. for not succumbing, mm -hmm. but it is such a major issue. And probably a parent out there is watching, they can help their daughter yeah. and their son not to succumb to the pressure. Mm. I mean, what is this? And especially looking at it from you are a coach, a mentor, mm. and a minister. Mm. How can young people not succumb to this pressure? Because it's real. Um, what is outside should not influence the one inside you, wow. yourself. And the only way that will happen is if I know who I am. Awesome. What is outside should not influence who I am on the yes. inside. And yeah. I hear you loud and clear yeah. because if, let's say, you build, and for this would be the parents, yeah. if you have built such strong stamina in your child, yeah. spiritually, emotionally, and otherwise, mm. the day they step out of your hands, mm. you'll not keep wishing and saying, oh my God, I wonder how she is. Yes. I think that's what you're, you're, you're saying. Yes. That's a really powerful statement. If somebody, if, if our youth grew up, and this mm -hmm. also, I take it back to the issues of foundation. Yeah. Growing up being told negative. You cannot make it, you're not good enough. You see, if we change that perspective and we start calling out the quiet person inside. Yeah. Outside there, they will not be affected. Mm. They will not try to fit into where they are not. Yeah. Because already in them, I know who I am. Yeah. You know, a dog cannot go and start sitting among the lions. Yeah. Because it knows its space. It knows who, who, who I am, it you know. It will be dead meat. It will be dead meat. Mm -hmm. it, it boils to the issue of who am I? What's my identity? Yeah. What defines me? Yeah. You know? Be, be, know who you are. Know who you are. Because mm. if you know who you are, what you stand for, mm -hmm. nothing will change that. Mm. Yes. Wow. So as, as we move probably in a few minutes to conclude this, mm -hmm. uh, we saw young people uh, getting into politics. Yes. People that had no money, completely zero budget. Yes. And the constituents voted for them. Yes. And we saw giants fall. Yes. And other people that no, no one imagined mm. would ever, mm. you know, 
uh, remove such people from power. And I'm, in this case, I'm not talking about the presidency. Yeah. I'm talking about the lower ranks in yeah. terms of uh, political seats. Yes. What would you attribute again now? Because as much as we say there's been apathy, mm -hmm. there's also been a, a mental shift mm -hmm. among Kenyans and among the youth to say, mm -hmm. let's take one of our own. Yes. And even if there are votes of some older people, mm -hmm. For a younger person to mm -hmm. really go up there, it mm -hmm. means mm -hmm. probably many of the voters, if a survey was done, yeah. were young people. Yes. So what do you think attributed to this thing of having uh, this one in, I think, uh, one of the counties was called Toto. Yes. It's really the, the made the news girl, in the yeah. last few weeks yes. because of her age and yeah. her, her youthfulness. Yeah. So, and that is one of a few. So yeah. what would you say about that? Uh, it is a question of not letting the giants... Mm -hmm. To, to scare you, mm -hmm. but to see the promised land, yeah. even where you're seeing giants. Yeah. And this takes me to the, to the, the book in the Bible in Numbers, mm -hmm. where the spies were sent to spy, yeah. and 10 came and said, we saw ourselves as grasshoppers. grasshoppers. Can you imagine? And two were like, give us this mountain. So the question is, what do you see in yourself? What do you see? In yourself. Yeah. Because those that conquered were not even uh, moved by the giants they were seeing. You know, there's this thing of uh, uh, it is taken over. It, it, that area only a, a certain caliber of people can fit in. But there comes a Caleb and a yes. Joshua who yes. want to defy the norm. Wow. You see? Yeah. And it is in their attitude. Yeah. It is in their mindset. Yeah. Because as far as you can see in your mind and think, yeah. there's nothing that can stop you. Yeah. They turn so grasshoppers. And it's amazing because they say, we saw ourselves. We saw ourselves. As grasshoppers. Imagine. You know. So how do you see yourself? Yes. And that is why it is said, the greatest, the, the biggest challenge is not transforming the person outside. It is the one standing in front of the mirror. <laughs> yeah? The one standing in front of the mirror. Yes. That is powerful. That is the one that needs to change. Yes. Before you can change uh, anything else. Mm. And that is why resistance comes in because you're like having many excuses. Yeah. I think I'm good enough in this. Yeah. And, and, and for me, I'm even thinking in the next five years, mm. we are going to have more youth True. vying in. Because these two have already broken the norm. That's right. If that girl can do it, Imagine. we'll have many coming up and saying, if she could do it, I can also do and it. And another guy that was actually campaigning in a donkey's, uh, like um, Coco Tennis, sort of. Yes. And people thought it was a joke. It was not a joke. Yeah. He didn't have a car. Yeah. But people voted for him. Yeah. And in fact, I wrote somewhere, mm. I wish him mm. all the best. Yes. And may God help him to be the leader yeah. that uh, he ought to be. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. Mm. How do you see yourself? So, again, because our audience out there keeps giving comments, we yeah. cannot ignore them. Yeah. Christine Musse says, having God is the foundation, positive peer pressure, good self-esteem, mm. being intentional and consistency mm. are invaluable aspects of positive mental transformation. I think that's interesting because we probably need to uh, also mention the positive peer pressure. Mm. Some, of, some of us, by God's grace, yeah. we made uh, good decisions, right decisions, because there was positive yeah. peer pressure. Mm. Chris, uh, Josephine Justice says, Sure, education is the key and there should be empowering on practical work yeah. because there are others who are poor in, in education mm. but very excellent mm. in practical mm. work. I think basically that's what you've been saying yeah. in one way or another. Yeah. Uh, young people making millions, not mm. because they've been through formal education, yes. but because of the gifts and the talents yeah. that God has given. Mm. And of course, Josephine says inward transformation brings an outward transformation. Thank you really for uh, you know, uh, engaging with us and sending your very important comments and continue watching even as you share with your friends mm -hmm. the link. So let's talk about now God and our minds. Because, yes. I mean, if there's any book mm -hmm. that has helped anyone in this life, mm -hmm. I can say so anytime, anywhere. Mm -hmm. It is the Bible. Yeah. And no wonder in some countries it's illegal. It's a, there's a demonic, mm. uh, demo, there are demonic policies mm. whereby a Bible is put on the same table as a gun. Wow. If you're caught with a Bible, yeah. uh, you can be deported. Yes. It is that bad. Yeah. So what is so powerful about God's word mm -hmm. that in some countries, it's, mm -hmm. you cannot 
cross into that country with a Bible. Yeah. But at the same time, mm -hmm. in some countries, they would even say, remove the Bible from hotel rooms. Yeah. Can you imagine? So that means there's something about that book that people don't know and they need to know. Yes. Yeah, as much as, you know, probably most people that watch are Christians, yeah. but others will watch that are not Christians. Mm. But what is, the, what is the perspective of God through the Bible mm -hmm. on our minds, the mm -hmm. mental transformation? Uh, let me say, as the, one of the viewers has talked about positive uh, peer pressure, mm -hmm. the word of God is so positive. Right. It is the only word mm -hmm. that is able to transform us mm. inside out. Yeah. That you don't need to be among people. You just need to expose yourself to right. the word. Mm. And uh, we know that the word of God is light. And when light comes in you, it transforms you. And what happens is when we are told arise and shine, for the light has come. Mm -hmm. I think it is Ephesians that says that the light comes, you arise. Yeah. So when you, you dwell and you spend time on the word of God, it transforms you mm -hmm. and you start walking in light. Even as you are talking of the same book in Psalms 119, the, it says, thy word, O God, is a lamp unto my feet. Mm -hmm. So if I want to change from my negative mindset, defeated mindset, I have to dwell in the word. That's right. Because even the first words in the same book tells us, in the beginning, God. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, it has to be God. God. John 1 says the word. Mm -hmm. In the beginning was the word and the word was, was God. God. So that is where the beginning has to be from. Mm -hmm. And as you read the word of God, because it is life mm. and it is spirit, mm. our soul needs that life. Mm. Our mind begins to be transformed mm -hmm. as you keep reading. And it is not enough just to read, meditate on it, meditate. speak it. Actually, I, I understood far much later that the meditation we are told in the word, it is not just quiet reading and being quiet. Yeah. It is actually to matter it back, oh. to speak it back, wow. to speak it back to yourself. Wow. So as you're reading it, don't read quietly, read loudly. Read it's you, like chanting the word of God. Chant the word of God. Okay. It comes back to you. Yeah. So as you're reading it, your ears are hearing it. Yeah. And you're yeah. digesting it. And light is coming in. Mm. And one of the ways that we are going to overcome the deception that is there now, even among the young people, trying to live lives that they are not, or trying to adapt things that they are not, is by walking in the truth. Okay. The truth, which is the word of God. Okay. For where the truth comes, we are set free. All right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, this is really powerful, and I believe that uh, you're learning quite a bit. Yeah. And I was just thinking, why is it, of course, the word of God has to be true. Yeah. And there's no way the word of God will never be true, not at any one time. Yeah. But the, the, the youth tend to find an appeal more in worldly pleasures mm. than in the word of God. Mm. And I guess that's why, as the church, we mm. have a responsibility mm -hmm. to keep preaching this word. Yeah. But why is it that, because as we talk about mental transformation, mm. it doesn't happen by osmosis. No, no, no. It has to be at a point where you have said they hear the word, mm. they chant the word, yeah. they read the word, they're exposed to programs. Mm. But why is it that the world seems more attractive to young people than what God offers? Yes. Yeah. Let's, let's be real. Uh, I take it to, remember we talked about faith it? Yes. It is not easy to faith it. Yeah. So it, but it is easy to fake it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah? Uh -huh. So it is easy to go by what you're seeing now. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Than what is to come. Right. I want instant miracles. Uh -huh. I want instant things. Mm. I don't want to work it. Mm. You know? And this word, we have to work it. Yeah, yeah. How do we work it? You have to believe it. You have to walk it. Yeah. You have to change your life, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are lazy. Mm -hmm. Let me just say the word. Mm -hmm. We are lazy. Mm -hmm. We are not ready to deal, read the word. I want to come to you. You pray for me and things happen. And you see, that will be on the surface. But what is inside me is the word in me. Mm -hmm. If it is not in me, it will not work. Wow. It will not work. So it has to be in me. It has to be in me. And it can only come in me when I plant it. Wow. 
listening to 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 you know sermons mm. listening to good worship yeah reading it speaking it to myself yeah before i know it i start walking a journey of transformation mm. and actually that is my journey okay for me it was a, a a walking with the word a walk with the holy spirit before even i could be exposed to the people mm. i was first exposed to me god myself okay. the two of us okay yeah by your parents or God somehow found you? God just found me. All right. But I grew up in church. <laughs> awesome. Yes. And I think we'll create time that we get to hear your story yes. another day. Yes. Viewers, we've been listening to Esther Wangeshi, an awesome woman of God and transformational court that you can find on YouTube, on Facebook, and probably on Instagram, I guess. Yes. Are you on IG? Yes. Yeah, you can look for her there, Esther Wangeshi, and you can find also other uh, motivational uh, talks that she has given on parenting and others. And on this note, I also want to say she'll be co-hosting with me. So when you don't see Aunt David on the show, remember Esther Wangeshi will be around and I know you will receive her graciously. And today the discussion has been awesome. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have also. And probably I'll give you a minute or 20 seconds because time is actually up mm. to say something in way of just a parting shot on matters of mental transformation. Um, be positive. Think positive. Think on those things that are good, that are noble, something that build you and uh, have a positive attitude towards life. Thank wow. You. Have a positive attitude towards life. I just wanted to pick a, a quote by Maya Angelo, someone that if you, if you don't know Maya, I would, I would say seek her out. She's really an awesome person, although she, she's no longer in this world, but really uh, she has impacted a lot of lives. She said, if you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. Maya Angelou said that. And I'd, I've discovered it's not everything you will like. You may not like your place of work. Yeah. You may not like your next door neighbor. Change your attitude towards them. If you cannot deal with it, just change your attitude and there'll be a difference. Otherwise, from us, it's God bless you, me and Esther. We are saying God bless you because bless. we'll be in this together yes. probably for many weeks to come. Yes. Until okay. next time, may God bless you. Yeah.